Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center. A few months ago, I put forth a video where I discussed different treatment philosophies or different treatment uh, styles amongst MS uh, physicians. I described uh, induction therapy, uh, slow escalation therapy, fast escalation therapy, one and done. A colleague recently brought to my attention that I don't really use any of those specific styles in my own treatment of MS. And so I thought I'd take a few minutes and share with you my approach to how I apply MS therapeutics in clinic. So I start off um, by, by being very clear that I'm driven primarily by efficacy. It's my desire as an MS doc to place the patient on the single most effective therapy they're eligible for and that they're comfortable with. And both those words are very important. And so what I try to do is have a very open, transparent, and honest conversation. I have a whiteboard in every room, and I start by writing the drugs in order of my opinion of efficacy. Now, there's 14 drugs and 17 different formulations, and I'm not writing 17 different drugs on the board. I may limit my options to what, in my opinion, are the four or five most effective drugs uh, for that patient. And then I tell the patient, I'm going to start at the top of the board and I'm going to explain to you this drug, how it works, the good, the bad, the ugly. And if you are comfortable with that option, that's what I want us to do. If the patient is uncomfortable for whatever reason, then I will downgrade the option to something that, in my opinion, may be a little bit less effective, but still appropriate. And then I will talk to them about that, about that drug. And we'll just work down the list until we hit the right risk benefit for that human, for that individual. You know, a lot of docs talk about escalation therapy and they want to start the patient on something that is very well tolerated and very safe and in groups of people might be mild to moderately effective. As it turns out, the more effective medicines tend to have larger side effect profiles. And so the idea there is, is trying to hit the right risk benefit and, and docs try to do this using uh, prognostic factors. So certain patients may be predisposed to have more aggressive MS and other patients may be predisposed to have less aggressive MS. And so uh, in, in these doctors' minds, they can triage the patient's demographics and early clinical characteristics and MRI characteristics to identify in whom they want to put on highly effective therapies that have higher risk and in whom they may not need to. Whereas that sounds okay at first, I really don't agree with that, and I'll explain why. I didn't take a class in medical school called paternalism where I got to choose for you what you are and aren't eligible for. I, I didn't take a class where I could say, well, you're too good to uh, mandate a more effective therapy. You're probably going to be okay on this thing, and so I'm not going to offer that to you. Uh, that doesn't sit well with me. On the contrary, I feel that it's the individual's decision how aggressive they want to be with their care. It's the individual's decision how much risk they want to take. And it's my responsibility not to tell them what they're going to do. It's my responsibility to help educate them and help them make a decision. And this is really why I don't start uh, with the traditional escalation, uh, something easy breezy, cover girl, and then if it doesn't work out, upgrade. It doesn't work out means brain damage. And when I ask patients or their spouses how much brain damage they'd like to accrue, they always give me the same answer, none. And so I, I really think that my approach makes more sense for me, um, and it seems to work well in my clinic. And I hope it makes uh, sense to you guys as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Aaron Boster with the Ohio Health MS Center.